Thank you, Mr. S Mr. Chair. I'm honored to deliver this statement on behalf of the Global Indigenous People Caucus. The Global Indigenous People Caucus recognizes the potential of the new expanded mandate of the expert mechanism and strengthens their work to effectively promote the respect for the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People through the Human Rights Council Resolution 33-25. There, there remains, however, concern on specific elements of the new mandate. With this, we present all, all observational recommendations to the expert mechanism on the on their new mandate. First, we note that the country visit continue to remain under the discretion of the state despite giving the opportunity for indigenous people to trigger the request paragraph 2E. We recognize that this limitation is an overall concern in the UN system. As such, we recommend the expert mechanism to be more proactive in encouraging, encouraging states to invite them for country visit and technical advice to achieve the full implementation of the declaration. As stated in resolution 20, uh, 33-25, in providing technical advice regarding the development of the domestic le le legislation and policies, including establish, establishing contact with the Uni United Nations Agency funds and programs, paragraph 2C, we expect that the expert mechanism conduct this consideration of the recommendation made at, at the Universal Periodic Review and by treaty bodies, special rapporteur, and other relevant mechanisms that relate to the issues and concern of indigenous people, paragraph 2D. In line with this, we recommend the expert mechanism to review national action plans of the state and provide concrete technical advice for appropriate inclusion of indigenous people in concerning those plans in other appropriate le legislative policy administrative structure with due uh, to the right of self-determination and development. Furthermore, in relation to paragraph 2D, we recommend that the expert mechanism correspond to review and accommodate the recommendation of indigenous people that were rejected and ignored by state in the UPR treaty bodies, special rapporteur, and other relevant mechanisms. In addition, the expansion of the members of the expert mechanisms to seven representatives are duly noted. However, the division of the indigenous people represent, represents around the world to this civil region remains under representative of all indigenous people group who reside in these regions. These limitations tend to miss the specific issues and concerns of indigenous people in some areas. For example, in Central Asia, which is loomed together with Central and Eastern European and Russian Federation and Trans Transcasica, the conflict in this area are often not studied and addressed within the specific context of indigenous people. Specifically, we recommend the expert mechanism to facilitate a dialogue in the sub-region and include concrete populations such as indigenous Armenian, Assyrians, Yezid, Galadian, Kurds, Syrian, among others. As a start discussion for specific issues like the war situation in the area since 2011. We then encourage regional representatives of the expert mechanism to develop respective, res respective strategies that will allow for improvement, access, and inclusion of indigenous peoples representative in their respective regions. Furthermore, we recommend the expert mechanisms to include adequately analysis and perspective of each region in consideration of the common critical condition in the sub-regions and provide comparable tents among states between sub-regions and regions including analysis of sexuality and gender identity. To this end, we recommend the expert mechanism with support of the OHCA chart and the secretariat to provide a work plan to help indigenous people to promote, to be more organized and given inputs as needed by Embry. Thank you, Mr. Chair.